This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Welcome everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add grass to your Unreal Engine project here. Now, this is going to be the easiest and quickest grass tutorial, I promise. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, New Level, and I'm just going to pick this one here, okay? Uh, you need some kind of terrain, and I can basically, you can go and pick any kind of terrain. Um, for this, we can make it 4x4. It doesn't really matter. You can go ahead and push Create. Once you have that here, uh, let's go ahead and let's select the uh, terrain here and type in grass. Now I have some extra items here in this project, but the simple grass will work. Next thing we need to do is we need to add in um, some Quixel Megascans project. So it's actually really easy, right click, add some Quixel content, and you should come up with this here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna type in grass, clumps and should, yeah, there we go, grass clumps and it should come up here. It's a little slow, um, but nevertheless, uh, you want to maybe pick this one. This is the one that I downloaded. So you click download and then you push add. Um, I did that off screen just because I've been using this one. It's actually really good. You can also use this one as well. This one's also pretty good. But nevertheless, you do want to use this. Um, at least that's the one I'm going to be using. Next up, we need to go to the foliage here. And um, what we need to do is we need to, um, we need to add in uh, some foliage. And usually it comes up right away, but I'm going to add in this one, this one, and this one. These are the ones that I added in here. Now there's a few things uh, that we can do. So if we just click there, we have a, a bunch of settings here, but this is not the usual size here because I have a different uh, project here. Usually the brush size is a little smaller here. And if you click on these, you have to do a couple things. First, you have to click all of these by shift clicking and making sure they're all selected here. Now the density, I, the the original settings are kind of more like this. Uh, let me just do that here. But nevertheless, you can kind of just move them around here. And then if we play that here, you'll see that yeah, we do have grass, right? Okay? And this is going to be probably really laggy for you. Uh, but that doesn't look as good as we want, and the grass isn't as big as we want. So in order to do that, um, let's just undo that all here. Uh, the density I'm going to do to about a thousand here. Now, by the way, this is fairly CPU intensive here, and um, there's a lot of um, uh, so if if it is CPU intensive, so let's change the scale to maybe about 2.5 and 2.5 here, and I'm going to change the brush size to well, I'm going to change it to 10,000 or 10,000. Something bigger, two, three, perfect. Okay, so let's do that here. And what you'll also notice if we do that here, uh, there we go. And so you essentially have grass all over the uh, here. And that actually looks pretty cool. It's like you're, you're walking through a grass field. Now, just a couple of things here. You'll notice at the bottom, I kept the floor. So that's why we need that grassy texture at the bottom. Uh, if you don't have that, it's not gonna work. So let's undo that for one more, one last time here. And I will make a quick caveat. Uh, it's better to do all of the um, all of your landscape stuff before um, your. Uh, if you just click on this here, you can kind of move around the landscape. It's better to do all of your landscape stuff before you add in the, add in the foliage. It's not 100% necessary, but you should probably do it. Okay, and then that way you know the foliage will go completely on here. Now this is of course really basic and if you're making a game you probably should add in a lot more variation. But nevertheless, you can see that this does look pretty good, um, you know, for a quick five minute tutorial. All right, thanks for watching. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe. This, as of this video, as of now, this video isn't monetized. So if you help us subscribe and like and share, it helps us make more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, you can buy our content down below. 
it really does help us out when you buy our content down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. If you really like this channel, you could subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month every single month. We release everything from Adobe tutorials to 3D modeling tutorials to game development tutorials to machine learning tutorials to web development tutorials and more. We're constantly pushing the bounds in e-learning and if we can get to 10,000 paid subscribers per month, we can become the best e-learning company on the planet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.